We're here at Michael's Greenhouse, Chester, Connecticut. Uh, Michael's Greenhouse installed a water system and a sanitation system about a year ago. And we're interviewing Roger McKay, the head grower. And it's in April and all his plants are early flowering and flourishing. And we're going to ask Roger a few questions on how he's doing his sanitation here. Uh, Roger, what was the problem you were having and why you went into a sanitation system? Well, we, we got a lot of algae in the water. We got a lot of block nozzles. And this 20,000 gallon storage tank was just getting green and everything was blocking up. So we, we basically had to do something. And did you try to do something before the HANA system? We, we emptied the tank, um, got it inside, scrubbed it out, brushed it out, pumped that sludge out, got zero tall and put a a reasonable concentration of zero call in, wash the whole thing out so that we were trying to start again with fresh water. So now after the hand the system's been put in, have you seen your, your problem uh, ease up? And yeah, there's been a, a considerable improvement in the system. We also, in the, in the tank, uh, put in some aerator, aerators and there's a constant source of air being sort of bubbled through from the bottom of the tank. I think that helps a lot as well, um, but the HANA system seems to have given me a, a reasonable source of clear, clean water. Um, I didn't want too much chlorine going into the, into the system, so we set the, the, um, the high level at half a ppm of chlorine, in, actually in the water. We're looking for a, an ORP value of about 650 to 700. We've got an inline tester. Um, we've got also the ORP recorded on the on the chlorinator, and those two should be sort of round about the same level. Um, the water from here goes out and basically services three quarters of the nursery. Um, and through my mist lines, through my um, overhead watering lines in the glass house, and with a um, water tunnel water. Basically everything's a whole lot, a whole lot cleaner. We've got less algae growing on the floor of the, of the glass house. Therefore, there's less breeding areas for shore flies and sort of just general slippy floors. And everywhere's a whole lot cleaner. Now, about how many parts a million are you adding? You say your your limit was a half. But actually, how much are you about using? Well, I'm not really using that much chlorine. I I buy it by the case. Um, it's a 12% chlorine solution, full shot. And when I go in and buy a couple of cases, the, the lady in the store usually says to me, well, don't put it all in your swimming pool at once. And I said, well, I just need a, a chlorination system in the greenhouse. But I probably used um, 30 to 40 gallons of chlorine sort of over, over the course of the year. It really doesn't, doesn't use that much. It obviously depends on the amount of water that you're using. Um, but in the, in the late spring and summertime, we can empty this tank. It's, it's replenished all the time. But basically, we can we got eight foot of eight foot four of what feet of water in this twenty thousand gallon tank, and I can get it down to two or three feet at the end of the day. It replenishes then for the next day, so it's continually being chlorinated. So sometimes, you know, the usage goes up and down. So you're finding using. Uh, sodium hydrochloric is very easy and easy, readily available, and just easy to use. Oh yeah, I mean it's just regular sort of chlorine that you use, you know, to clean your swimming pool. It's just, it's a constant sort of monitoring device and you've got to make sure that, I mean, I've, I've experienced sort of chlorine problems over the years, so I wanted to make sure we kept it down. So, I mean, I've, I've never really gone more than half, half a ppm of chlorine and sometimes it's, you know, it's... 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 ppm of chlorine actually sort of in the system. The ORP stays up, contributed to by the fact that the the, um, the aeration in the tank as well. But you know the whole system together keeps the, keeps the water a whole lot clean. My filters get blocked up a whole lot less, so there's less maintenance, and just generally it's you know cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> so you, this system is paying for itself with the lack of labor cleaning out your nozzles open. Yeah, I mean it's all it's all it's all relative but it it's it eases the whole pressure and 
keeps the environment cleaner. And um, you know, for for what little flooring you use, yeah, the system is, is very beneficial and cost effective. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for your your services here. And uh, this is again Michael's greenhouse. We're signing off. Michael's greenhouse, Chester, Connecticut.